talk to me about the EMF exposure from the cell phone to a baby's head and to our head. Because people are still skeptical about this subject. Yeah, and that's the thing is that there's a lot of studies out there that are inconclusive, and there's a lot of studies out there at higher levels that say, yeah, for sure, this stuff is dangerous. And at a really high level, it's starting to heat the body up. We can measure that. And so they've set the levels you know, like 10 million microns. That's really high. And they do that so that they don't get sued, so that we can have this technology. But they're really is showing that the studies at lower level, there's some long-term biological effects. And those studies are kind of kept more quiet. So when we have these devices and they're near us, especially babies, and that's the thing is these were tested on adults, not tested on babies. The bones and the brain is a lot more sensitive. And so we want to make sure that we're keeping it away. The skull's open still. That's right. Yep, absolutely. So, you know, there's a lot of these long-term effects that haven't really been fully studied out yet. And so we don't want to be the guinea pigs. So at least for me and my family, we're going to take the precautionary principle. And that's until you can prove that it is safe, I don't really want to have it around my kids. There's a reason that Steve Jobs said he would never give his daughter a tablet ever. And he would never put it to his ear. 